Lost Box decks continue to evolve. We've come a long way from Cramorant, Sableye, Charizard. While still a great deck, Mirage Gate builds have become the, the go-to way, adding a whole bunch of wacky attackers and different attack options to make them very hard to counter and have tools for almost every situation. And in this build created by Grant Manley and run at San Diego Regionals, he spiced his deck up with Dragonite V. Is this the secret sauce to the Lost Box deck, which already has tons of sauce to it? I'm Jet from InThirdPerson.com. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's talk about Dragonite V in the context of Lost Box. Dragonite V is a you know, V Pokemon, drops two prizes, has 230 HP, which is actually pretty good because it's a little higher than your average Pokemon V. It's going to be a little harder to knock out. And on top of that, Dragonite has no weaknesses whatsoever. So your opponent's not going to be able to cheese out a knockout for weakness here. They're going to have to hit 230. So there's a decent chance that Dragonite can tank. And on top of that, it's got the move Dragon Gale, which for two water and a lightning does 250 damage. And this attack also does 20 damage to each of your bench Pokemon. Now you don't necessarily want to take 20 damage to your bench, but it doesn't necessarily, it doesn't always matter in the Dragonite or in the Lost Box because you all have low HP Pokemon and maybe you have the Manaphy out, so they're not necessarily capitalizing on it. But the big thing here is Dragon Gale, 250 damage, throw a choice belt on there for an extra 30 damage, and you're one-shotting every V-Star in the game. Well, I guess, except for Regigigas V-Star, which by the time you watch this is probably out now. So you are getting a, a basic attacker that can hit for 280 damage on anything, and this two water and lightning you can cover with four Mirage Gates, which the Lost Box deck normally has. Let's talk about some of the other tools in this deck. So you know you already know you use your comp phase to get cards into the lost zone. You'll use Cramorant to get that early game damage in 110, uh, not including weakness. You've got Sableye as an end of game attacker to clean up any sort of mess. We've also got the Kyogre here, which is an absolutely insane combo with the Aqua Storm attack. You discard the top five cards of your deck and then you do 50 damage for each energy you flip and you're saving this for the end of the game you're trying to work your deck to all the way to the bottom and then you're going to energy recycler all energy back into the deck so that kyogre can then come in and land the big end game attack taking multiple prizes um, just in case, we've also got a Snorlax here, does 180 damage for three colorless energy, throw a choice belt on there, you're doing 210, taking out some Pokemon Vs or stuff like Crobats and, and Luminions if you get the, the opportunity to do so, though this deck doesn't really run Gust. Regardless, you're getting really good damage on Pokemon V or, or taking big knockouts with Snorlax that only drops a prize. We've also got Orn Guru here to switch cards, put a card to the top of your deck, and then take the card off the top of your deck. Particularly great for energy that you want to Mirage Gate back in. Manaphy to protect the bench and Greninja to draw cards. So yeah, there's a lot going on in this deck. It's a toolbox style deck. You're generally starting with Cramorant in the early game. You're going to use Dragonite or Snorlax in the mid game to land those big attacks on high prize Pokemon. You're gonna use Sableye towards the end of the game in order to clean up any sort of mess from Cramorant and um, Cramorant and Snorlax and Dragonite. And then last but not least, finish the game off with Kyogre, assuming your opponent doesn't have Manaphy on the bench. Let's talk about some of the support and then I'll, I'll give my overall thoughts on the deck. We've got four battle VIP pass, two energy recycler. In particular, this is to set up the Kyogre play at the end, but this is a great card to get energy back into the deck so you can use your Mirage Gates, of which we have four. Of course, we've got movement options so that we can get the comp phase doing the lost zone thing as fast as they can, including two escape ropes, four scoop up nets, and two switch carts. This, there's no evolving in this deck, so we don't have to worry about um, you know, using regular switches, we can get the benefits of switch cards and 
um, you know, heal a little bit if need be. I should also mention here in terms of movement, Zara Aura is in here primarily for um, as a free pivot, but you can hit for weakness with the lightning because it only takes one Mirage Gate to charge up just in case. We also have two quick balls for setup, two ordinary rods to get Pokemon and energy back into the deck. We have one Poke Stop, which is good for getting items or just digging even further into the deck to more quickly set up the Kyogre play. Um, one Bird Keeper for pivot and drawing cards and getting down to the bottom of the deck. Four Colrus Experiment. Of course, this is a Lost Box Essential. Two Choice Belts. And then for energy, we are running a wide swath of energy here. Three Capture Energy, three Lightning Energy, three Psychic Energy, and five Water Energy. Now, I will say... It's cool to, to be able to have Dragonite in a deck because we, we hardly ever see this card in play. And I've been sitting on these for a while looking for a good deck to use them in. I will say, however, this is a very tough deck to play. You are There's a lot of things to manage on top of the basic uh, Lost Zone stuff and getting 10 cards in the Lost Zone, using Cremrant to get the early attacks, plus using Sableye to clean up the mess. You're also having to worry about Dragonite, which is going to do a lot of damage, but not always all the damage. And same with Snorlax. When do you use Snorlax? When do you use Dragonite? And then you're also going to have to manage your resources in a way so you can have Kyogre land the big end of game snipe attack to finish things off. And you'll you'll see in the this this video here that I do kind of struggle getting a feel for this. I have admittedly haven't played too much of this deck. Um, admittedly, this is the first video I've made since my my baby was born. Oh my goodness! And I don't actually have a lot of time to play. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to to changing diapers. Where I'm gonna show you some matches, and then we'll, we'll talk about it at the end of this video. All right, I'll see you see you at the end. Enjoy the matches. Okay. All right. Huh. We get to go first, which is an interesting choice for sure. Yeah, we didn't choose that. Let's see what we're up against. Mew again. Huh. I don't necessarily agree with Mew letting. Uh, Mew letting us go first. Okay. Uh, double Comfe? Sure. Let's see if we can chain together enough. Ah. I hate that play. Getting rid of Mirage Gate there. Let's go and reset. Because the Mirage Gates are really important for the health of this deck. And we have to keep the Sableye. And we will actually burn the energy to get a fourth fourth card into the lost zone. We have to we have to rod. Although, yeah, getting the water energy in there really sucks. Okay, I will go. Let's go and bank an ordinary rod and we'll wait. I don't want to give them any sort of meaningful targets to hit. Like, sure, go and hit a Comfe, even go and hit the Guru. Dragonite's interesting here in the sense that, yeah, it can one shot Mew V, it can one shot Genesect. You can do pretty good damage onto Mew V Max. You're not going to be able to one shot it, unfortunately. Oh, wow. Our opponent has bricked pretty hard here. Oh, they do get the quick ball, so they can start to work their way through their deck. And, ooh, they got rid of Ultra Ball. That's an interesting choice there. I would think that you would want to... And they're going to Meloetta instead of Genesect? What? What? Are they going all in on just attacking right now? I think they might be throwing the game here. All right, there it is. Yeah, they've got it to whittle, whittle it all the way down, get the Genesect, draw a couple cards, hope for the best. I don't necessarily blame them for that. In a worst case scenario here, yeah, we Comfe potentially into nothing 
And then we bird keep her into the Cramorant and just like take out this Meloetta. Oh, they do get the second Genesect. All right. And a BIP pass. All right. We've got a game. We've got a game. And the Oracorio. That's annoying. But I think something to note here is that they don't run Manaphy, which makes the the Kyogre play even more important, which means it extra sucks that we lost a Water Energy and a Mirage Gate already. So we'll have to we'll have to keep all of that in mind. And yeah, they can go and take a Confei out. I'm not letting them lose. I'm not losing a Guru or yeah, I'm not losing Guru right now. Now everything looks fine. Assuming they can hit Alessa Sparkle right now. Okay, they're going to burn a power tab. That is, I mean, if you have to draw the cards, you have to draw the cards, but that is not a good resource to, to give up at this point in time. Yeah, and Dragonite's doing 250 to 280, uh, 230 to 250. Oh, that actually sucks. They're not going to be able to attack this turn, but we do lose our Cramorant here and our Bird Keeper, and we really wanted those cards. Now, we can still hit... Okay, yeah, let's go take a knock here, right? We do get the Kyogre probably... Pre... Yeah, we get the Kyogre prematurely. Let's get rid of the VIP pass. We'll hold on to the Recycler, and we will... We only got five in the... Five in the Lost Zone right now. That's unfortunate. And we will Primate Wisdom away the Kyogre. I don't think we need that right now. And let's go into Cram and, and take our first prize. Yep, 90 damage. Just enough to knock out a Meloetta. And hopefully we can we can build the combo to do a billion damage on a, onto these Pokemon here. Tails. Okay. Okay. Yeah, if we can get Dragonite, like Dragonite doesn't even have to knock out the Mu V Max. If it can just get in a good hit, that would be cool too. Yeah, if it's softening up the Mew VMAX to then get the Kyogre play at the end of the game. But we do have to race to the bottom of our deck a lot faster than we current. Well, one, two, three, four, five in the Lost Zone. That's not bad. If we can get a Colrus here, that would be incredible. Okay, ah, there's the Colrus. We're going to lose the Zero Aura. That's fine. And let's go and... Ooh, Scoop, Water... Uh I hate losing Cramorant and Radiant Greninja, but I think we were okay with that at this point in time. We are going to need... Let's go and scoop and dig a little further into our deck. And we do grab the Sableye. That's good. And we do have Net, and we can grab Comfey again. And we can go... Mmm, switch card again, or... No, we need Colrus. We'll need Colrus. All right, so we can... I think we swing with the Dragonite here, right? I think that's the play. Let's go get rid of a Confei, and we get the Dragonite. Hit for 250. All right, and let's Mirage Gate. Ooh, Lightning, Water... And we have the water, we have the switch cart, and we will protect the the Sableye here. Okay, we've got our recyclers for the Kyogre play later. And yeah, let's go and put another Confei down here as well. And we Dragon Gale. Okay. I mean, we they could Psychic Leap. They could Psychic Leap. And that would be a problem for us. But let's see what they do. 
one, two, three. There, there is the potential for a five price turn. <laughs> uh, if we get to the, I don't think we're going to get to the bottom of the deck fast enough, but there is the potential for that with this deck. Okay. They're going to go and hide with the Mew and they may get a, a pivot to then do Mew things. And that would be scary right now. They're going to, they have to burn a power tablet to knock out Dragonite. Yeah, the, there's a lot to this dragon, this Lost Zone deck with the Kyogre. I've actually been holding off on covering this version of the deck because personally I'm horrified of, of this deck and like having to have the resources at the end, the Recyclers, the, the Mirage Gates, the Kyogre to pull off that play, that game ending play. But um, I think with the Dragonite, Grant Manley having that in his deck, and it was just like something that I think we should cover. So here we go. They're going to go and grab the card. They're probably going to hit. I would imagine they're going to hit Dragonite. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Even if they knock out Dragonite, that's not necessarily the worst thing in the world. We still have the Kyogre play potentially on deck. And we can bench snipe, take out. Yeah, it'd be wild if we could hit six prizes. Ooh, the heads. What does that? They'll probably get a power tablet and knock out the Dragonite. Is it worth ordinary rotting the Dragonite back into the deck? It might not be. Ooh, and path to the peak. They're going to lock themselves into this, which could be trouble for them. I'm not necessarily interested in knocking that out for them. Let's see where we we get here. Okay, we do get the Sableye. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's see if we can get a... There's Sableye, Heavy Ball, Choice Belt. I don't need any of these cards right now. Okay, 13... What we need, the Snorlax is not bad. We need to dig further into the bottom of the deck. Ideally, a switch. Uh. Okay. This is... Or a Mirage Gate here. Because, yeah, I can't do anything right now. There's the Mirage Gate. Okay. So what can we do with Mirage Gate? I can get Retreat and... Okay, I think we have to Sableye here. That's kind of a waste of a Mirage Gate, though, isn't it? Not necessarily. If we get the... If we get the knock, and also we don't have... Ooh. We have just enough energy here for the retreat. I think we're going to have to recycle her soon. Okay. Yeah, we'll... Okay. So we have 12, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And we'll soften up the Mew 1. Again, damage counters is not damage. 4, 3, 2. Okay. Do we have what it takes for the Kyogre play. If we can hit the Kyogre play right here, that would be legendary. One, two, three, four, five. Um, we're going to need to get a water energy here as well. So this isn't set in stone just yet. <laughs> okay, they're going to Lost City the Sableye. That's what we want. That's what we want. No, the Roxanne's terrible. The Roxanne's terrible. We had all the pieces right there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Um. 
This is now much worse off than where what we had before. I really hope that we don't lose. Shoot. Damn it. We had it. We had it. Okay. Now I'm not. Oh, they're hiding. They're hiding. Okay. Um, let's hide. Shoot. Let's hide the Kyogre. I don't need the Kyogre right this second. We do get the Colrus. That's incredible. We have to get the Kyogre back. Let's grab the Choice Belt and let's grab a Snorlax. Like, let's just throw those other cards out. And we're actually going to soften up the Mew, which is probably the play here, and force them to get the Mew out, right? Hmm. If we go Snorlax thing and then Mirage Gate into the Snorlax. Okay, let's lost mine and let's drop all of it onto the Mew. And now force them to have the retreat option and all that stuff. And hopefully we can get the Kyogre play at some point. It's not ideal. Certainly not ideal. Man, this deck is this deck is pretty tough in terms of just like having the pieces and wh where do you weave the Dragonite in. And the Dragonite's kind of cool. You can hit for 280 with the Choice Belt. Um, but there's a lot going on into this. And yeah, having to think about how the Sableye attacks. And Lost Box is already a deck that I've I've personally had challenges with for for some time. Yes. Uh, I have Lost Box. There's a couple of Lost Box archetypes that I do like to play, but like the single prize variants and the some of the wackier ones, I have avoided. Hey, we got the win! GG's. I'm a little frustrated there. I'm a little frustrated there in that we didn't get the Kyogre play, but it was developing. It was, if they hadn't rock sand us, we had all the pieces to do it. And yeah, we had the ordinary rot. We had the the recycler. We had the Kyogre. We had the net. We had the. It was all there. It was all there to do it. And unfortunately, it it didn't work out that time. We did get the win. We did use pretty much all of the attackers other than the Kyogre. Dragonite did come in, take a big swipe at Mew. It could have been bigger, but that's okay. It was enough to soften up the Mew V Max for Sableye to clean up. And you kind of see how the the flow of the deck works. You're softening things up at the Cramorant. Somewhere in the middle, you're you're doing big damage on a, a high value target with Dragonite. And then you don't necessarily have to get the win with Dragonite. You're just softening something up, charging it up really quick, and then setting up the Kyogre combo at the end to to take the big multi prize KO. Uh, assuming you have all the combo pieces, the scoop up nets, the recyclers, and they don't have mana fee on top of all that. But we'll take that win. GG's. Ooh, this is actually kind of awkward. You don't want to show the Dragonite early. Also, Dragonite has a massive three retreat cost here, which does make this a little tricky to retreat. Thankfully, we've got Battle VIP Pass and an escape rope here so we can get some Comface stuff going properly. However, having uh, Entei. Okay. Okay. So Entei is actually, I kind of like seeing that because Dragonite can one shot Entei if it comes down to it. Now, the problem is we have. Yeah, it's going to be a couple of turns before we can really set up here. I should have taken a better look at the the prizes that are that we have right now. Okay. I would imagine they would just drop Entei into the active and if we could get Cramorant set up and hit for 220, that would be hilarious. <laughs> um I'm not sure we're going to be able to do that though. Uh, yeah, let's go and grab... Oh, I don't want to lose the Snorlax. Snorlax is actually kind of good here. We'll do Mirage Gate 
and a water energy. Yeah. Okay. And that gets us one, two, three. Um, if we can tuck, no. We go cram. Will that even matter? Will cram even matter? Okay. Cram matters. It only matters if we get a some sort of escape card here. Ah, okay. I really want the rod. I really want the rod. So the zero ore has got to go. And let's go guru away the psychic energy. Okay. So, yes, a Shady Dealings Entei deck, that's fine. Like, we're going to hit for 220. We're going to hit for weakness just with the Cramorant. And Dragonite can one-shot Entei as well. Assuming we don't get gusted up here, which they, they very well could. I wouldn't necessarily blame them if they did. I'd be very salty about that, but... Yeah, they could get make some really good damage happen right here, actually, if they go after the Dragonite. <laughs> They're probably going after the Dragonite, aren't they? I would boss up this Dragonite right now. No, they're going for the cape. Okay, so Dragonite is not going to be able to one-shot the Entei unless we get a Choice Belt, and that's a bit of a problem. Though we are going to do insane damage with with Cramorant here on the Entei regardless. So yeah, that's going to do 220. If we can get a Choice Belt, we can knock this out. 160. All right. We go Comfe into the active. And let's see what else. 1, 2, 3, 4. Hopefully a Chorus? Ooh, no. Not a Chorus. Um, what do we want to put away... I'll put another Comfe down, even though we don't necessarily need to. There's the Colrus. That's what I'm talking about. Right there. Ooh. Ah, Colrus, Colrus, Lightning. Okay. Hmm. And let's get rid of the Psychic Energy. Uh, no, I, I actually don't want to get rid of either of those energies right now. But, um, Cramorant's gonna hit for a ton. Greninja helps us dig into the deck a little further. Actually, yeah, that's probably the right play here. Let's go and conceal cards, get the, rid of the lightning energy. And, ooh, we do have... Okay, I can use... No, I think we keep it simple here. We keep it simple. We go into the Cram with the choice belt and we just KO. Oh, we don't KO? Oh, it's 140 without weakness. Ah, uh, I forgot about that part. Okay. I forgot about that part. Damn. Okay. <laughs> well then, that's a waste of a choice belt. Uh if I were them, I would very much try and boss up that Dragonite right now. Nope. Okay, they're going to get a second Entei set up, which is fine. Um, if I were them, I don't know if they know that the Manaphy is in this deck or that the, the Kyogre is in this deck, assuming we can even get the, the Kyogre set up. Let's see. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six... Seven in the Lost Zone. I could just go straight into Dragonite and attack that way. Uh, assuming, but we also have to... Okay, I can't even do that now because we just got Marnied. And that's unfortunate. Ooh, the, the Greninja would hit for weakness. The Greninja would hit for weakness. Now, do we... Huh. 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 Okay. Um, little bit of a, a predicament here. Little bit of a predicament. This is not exactly the way that I would have wanted to draw this up. Oh, no. 
Oh no. Okay. Um. Okay, I don't want. Okay, let's get put the mana fee back. We do get a switch cart, and I will hard rich. Let's go into the comfy, and and just keep digging into the deck. I will take quick ball here, and we will get a. Do we have a second cram? Please tell me we have a second cram rant. Um, let's get rid of, do we get rid of choice belt? Choice belt's actually kind of helpful here. Okay. I'm actually going to get rid of choice belt. Let's see what we have. Uh, we do have cram. We do have, yeah, let's go get cram and, and take the knock. We're still not taking, oh, cause it's not weakness. Okay. So, uh, this is bad. I have, yeah, that Marnie killed it. Also, reading comprehension. The, the Cramorant not hitting for weakness, but the biggest thing is just, like, we lost. Yeah, Marnieing our hand there when we had the resources to start attacking with Dragonite was incredibly unfortunate. And unfortunately, they also have Choice Belt, so they can one-hit KO Dragonite here on the receiving end and that does suck really bad and now they're in a position where they're setting up the setting up shady dealings or setting up sobble to attack here too okay oof okay um not necessarily the end but it's it's looking rather grim here if i do say so myself Let's go and dig. We do get a Mirage Gate. That's amazing. However, we are... We're still, like, a little short on stuff to make this work. We do get a Capture Energy. And we can get rid of that Capture Energy. And... We can't Comfe. Huh. Huh. Mmm, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do we just go into Sableye stuff at this point? I think we do. Let's go Psychic Water. So, Psychic Water. And we attach the Lightning Energy to the Dragonite. And we're going to do one, two, three. And then everything. Oh, hold on. We can take out one, two, three, nine. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. One, two, three. Wait, this gives plus 50, right? Yeah. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And we should take three prizes here. Okay. 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 One, Bird Keeper, Mirage Gates. Heavy ball. All right. All right. All right. Okay. We're back in this. We're back in this. We're back in this. And we actually want to energy recycler here to get some of the, the water back. Please do not gust up the Dragonite. Although they still can't one shot it. I don't think they can. Okay, they're going to reset the Inteleon. Yep, as they should. But what will they do with the the second Drizzile here? I would be trying to hit the Dragonite. Unfortunately, yeah, we started with the Dragonite at the beginning of this game. Ugh. It's much better if you can pull it out later. Oh, what did they... I should have looked at what they... Okay, we can look at the log. Drew Raihan. Interesting. Okay, so they are setting up to try and uh, be able to attack next turn, which I don't necessarily agree with. No, oh, okay. 
Yeah, I don't necessarily agree with that play. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay. 12, 13. Okay, we do have Ordinary Rod. I think I want to save that. All right, let's go and keep digging into the deck. I I want to save Recycler. Uh, I need one Recycler, right? I need one Recycler. Okay. Um, and I do need to run the Recycler at some point. Okay. Ooh, this is actually kind of bad. Okay, let's put the... How do I do this? Let's go and put the... No, we'll dig. Let's dig. I will go and grab the scoop up net. Because we can... Can we Kyogre here and just smash? I think there's probably still too many cards in the deck. Um, Let's go and... Res let's rod here. Let's go and just do two basic energy, and we'll go lightning and water, right? And, ooh, hold on. I think I've, I've goofed this. So here, we, we do this again, do basic energy, uh, water psychic, because I need, hmm. For this to work, I think I could have... Oh, I don't think I should have done that. So this is water, water, right? Okay. Water. Yeah. Okay. I think I screwed this up. But I think I screwed this up. That's... We'll live with that. We'll go and attack with the Dragonite. And hopefully... Let's protect the, the Kyogre here. Because, yeah, I think there's a world where we could actually make this work. Okay, we'll Dragon Gale. We'll knock out the Dragonite. Take the two damage. They're not going to one-shot us. And we have a third net. I still want the Kyogre play. I don't know if we actually can do the Kyogre play, though. I think we actually could have done it on the last one, though it wouldn't have been guaranteed. Dragonite here is actually really tough for them, though, because they don't have... It. They're, they're not going to be able to one-shot Dragonite, and Dragonite can one-shot... Ooh. Uh-oh. Now we're in trouble. Now we're in trouble. Uh-oh. We can't... Ooh. This is bad. Now we can't... They can one-shot... Oh, no. Are they going to get the one-shot on the Dragonite here? No, they don't. They are just short. 10 damage short on that play. And we need... If we go and discard... Okay. I think this is the play. We retreat into Kyogre. Right? We... Actually, no. We don't retreat into Kyogre. We retreat into Comfe. And we dig further into the deck. Right? And then we... Colrus experiment, dig as far as we can to the bottom of the deck. Um, let's get rid of Colrus, Lightning. Oh no, we keep, this is what we want to throw out, right? So, and we throw those out, or we keep those and we discard the other ones. Oh my goodness, we have zero cards in hand. We have zero cards in hand. <laughs> One, two, three, four. And I think we got it. I think we got it. Um, water, lightning, water. 
lightning, water, water. Uh, we barely got it. We barely got it. We'll flip two cards. Oh, hold on. Yeah, we'll flip two cards. I know their energy. One, two, and we will go and take out the two Sobbles for the win. <laughs> GG's. Oh my goodness. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um. All right. Admittedly, and I'll be the first to admit, shady dealings, Ente, not necessarily the strongest deck in the game. Um. I will say to their credit, they played it pretty well. They were able to get Entei's consistently going throughout. They they hit for good damage, and they did protect their Entei's with the capes, which made it difficult for, for me to land, like, that big KO attack. Um, Dragonite did help in, in landing some big damage, and it really did come down to they weren't ready <laughs> for the Kyogre play at the end, and that was a pathetic kyogre play i will admit that was not necessary you want to have more energy in the deck at the end of the game so it's bigger than that however we did get the core concept of the play down we did do enough damage to take two prizes and take that win thank goodness the dragonite and we also did show that at 230 hp dragonite is it's not necessarily the tankiest pokemon but 230, no weakness. It was able to tank that big hit from Entei at the end of the game. So um, that we'll use that as like the, the core concept of how you play the game or play this particular deck. Yes, Grant Manly is going to play it like a billion times better than me. But that's the general flow of how it works. You start with the Cramorant's Dragonite for the big hit. Um, ideally, I think Sableye did not work in this one. It did work in in the Mew match. But um, yeah, that's just kind of the, the core of the deck. So GG's. And there is a look at the Lost Box deck with Dragonite. Again, we, we know what Lost Box does in terms of having this assortment of attackers, attackers that can do a whole bunch of different things. They can bench snipe, hit the active really hard. I do like the idea of Dragonite in there as something that isn't going to crumple to weakness and can one-shot V-Stars as well. And even if you're not getting that one-hit KO, 250 to 280 damage is a lot and gives you a lot of... I mean, gets your, your Sableye and your Kyogre that much closer to getting those big end-game attacks. That being said, if you are relatively new to the Pokemon training card game, uh, this is going to be a really tough deck to play. I think there are a lot of other Lost Zone variants that are a little easier to play, and uh, I would try and build my way up to this. But if you really want to try it with Dragonite, by all means, go for it. And that's going to do it for this episode of I don't, episode this isn't like this name of the show uh it's the end of this video thank you so much for watching and yeah just a heads up my my wife and i just had our our baby shout outs to our our newborn son leo uh his name is leo gambit he is absolutely adorable i love him i want to spend every minute with him and I kind of have to spend every minute with it. Well, okay, my wife is taking care of him right now. But um, right now, I've, I've come to learn that taking care of a newborn is is very difficult. I Kudos to all the parents out there who, who are raising their kids. It is so much work. And if you're a single parent out there, I don't, man, kudos to you. I don't know how you how you do it. Between, the t between Steph and I, it's been really challenging. But we love it. We love the kid. We want to see him grow. He's absolutely adorable. And like he he melts my heart every single day. Uh, not just with his cute face, but seeing him get more comfortable with Steph and I and, and starting to to learn and and grow. And like there are little things I've seen him pick up as he's as he's been in this world for a couple of days that just like absolutely blow my mind. So um with all that said, the the schedule for videos is still going to be shaky. I, I 
I imagine that I'm still going to have some time here and there to to make it and make a few videos. It's definitely going to be less than before, uh, but I will do what I can to stay on top of things. Um, I'm recording this before the launch of Crown Zenith, but Crown Zenith is going to be out. Um, and I'm hoping to do at least the pack opening video. I know there are some uh, Crown Zenith decks that are on the top of my list. Like I have them all built. I like I just have to put in the Crown Zenith cards in there. So hopefully I will get a chance to do those soon. But yeah, so it's exciting times in my life and still we're still going to keep doing things on this channel to the best of my ability. The stream on on Twitch, I usually say, hey, we play this every Sunday on Twitch. Um, TBD, TBD. <laughs> uh, as it goes right now, I'm up super early in the morning trying to take care of our son as he he's, we have to feed him like every three hours. And I'm up till from three o'clock to eight o'clock and then like rolling into stream at 9 a.m. afterwards. I don't know if I have the gas for that, but we will see. Um, so I'll, I'll figure it out. But you can find me on other things as well. You can find me on on YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram at in third person. And you can check out my website, in thirdperson.com, for more articles and videos on video games, board games, and other nerdy pursuits. So until the next one, whenever that may be, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.